Assalamualaikum. Welcome to today's cataract surgery insight video. I am Dr. Abdurrahman Muhammad Al. This is a case where a man is suffering from posterior sinicia with complicated cataract. I already made the side port. Now I'm using continuous irrigation from the irrigating handpiece to wash out the blood and form the AC. Main port is being created with the help of a 2.4 steel keratome yeah, I stabilized with the for Hoskins person. Now I'm forming the AC with continuous irrigation and gentle sinicolysis is done with a blunt spatula. Care should be taken not to injure the anterior capsule. Then blue rex is used to stain the anterior capsule. There is pulling of the triton blue due to poor draping. I corrected the draping and there is no further pulling of a fluid or blue rex. Wash the blue rex with adre adrenaline to cause more dilation. Then OVD is injected further to cause viscometriasis. I'm using a rex is holding forcep to to uh, to take out the exudative membrane, but I was unable to do so. So I'm forming the AC again. Now I'll be using a micro micro forcep to pull out the exudative membrane in a tangential manner not to exert too much pulling force because it can lead to uh, iridiasis yes. it can also cause uh, bleeding from the iris and cause hyphema OVD is again given to deepen the AC cause viscometriasis and flatten the anterior capsule now I will be constructing a continuous curvilinear capsular axis about 5.5 mm with a bent system. For a successful CCC, you must always fill the anterior chamber with OVD and pressurize the anterior chamber more than the interlenticular pressure. Also, the, when the OVD is present in the anterior chamber, it flattens the anterior capsule and there is less tendency of the capsule anterior capsule rexus margin from running out. This is done, uh, my operation is being done on a peribulbar block. After peribulbar block, there was significant hypertrophy of the eye. Hydrodissection is being performed, followed by hydrodelineation. Gel is again uh, filled into the anterior chamber. Nucleus is rotated with the Sinsky. Yes, it rotates beautifully. Now, I'll commence with my faculty emulsification. Before that, I am fixing the sleep position and expo exposing the FACO tip adequately for direct chop. In this case, the FACO setting that I am using are given in the upper left corner of the screen. I am performing a vertical chop with the help of a Sinsky. Now I am further uh, chopping the hemineucleus into multiple small pieces. Yes, the piece are being chopped successfully. This is a more a comparatively soft cataract of grade 2. OVD is again injected to protect the endothelium before starting removal of the pieces by factor emulsification. I'm not introducing a second instrument through the side port because it can lead to leakage and the shallowing of the AC. With the FACO tip, you can easily rotate the nuclear piece to your desired location to be FACO emulsified. At the end of the nuclear removal, I switch to epinucleus mode to remove the remaining pieces because it is much safer in epinucleus mode. Now only the epinucleus shell is remaining which will be removed with the help of the ball chopper. This ball chopper helps me to negotiate the epinucleus out of the capsular bag and is easily facoemulsified by the faco hand piece. Now with the chopper, retract the iris and see if there is any remaining epinucleus and see the location of the cortex. Which will help me in visualizing the presence of the cortex 
during cortical removal. Little bit of adrenaline was given with a feeling that the pupil was constricting. Now I'm performing cortical removal with a straight tip IA. So I'm successfully removing all the cortex. This cortex is a little bit thick and unable to remove. You can either increase the vacuum or use a spatula to crush the cortex in the aspiration point. In 360 manner, I'm removing all the cortex from the capsular bag. giving again adrenaline to cause dilation now OVD is again given to depend the AC now I'll increase the incision size from 2.4 to 2.8 Commence with the IR loading with the Monarch cartridge. Yes, successfully loaded. Now I'm implanting the IR into the capsular bag. With the help of a spatula, I will dial the IR into the capsule, posterior capsular bag. Now the only remaining part is removing the OED from the anterior chamber and behind the IOL. Now I'll perform stromal hydration of the wound and give subconjunctival injection and the case is completed. You can go back behind the video and pause the video to see my setting in various stages of the surgery. Yes, the case is completed now. Then give some intratermal antibiotic followed by subconjunctival dexamethasone. Thank you everyone for seeing the video. Hope this surgical video is helpful in developing your surgical skill. Take care my friends.